Attention! Diamond Dogs! Even with Skullface dead, our brothers are unavenged, and the phantom pain he brought us lives on. Cypher is still out there. We know they've planted spies, parasites among us. Watch the man to your left, to your right. Assume nothing, report everything. It's the only way to protect ourselves. From here on out! You... will be my eyes. The deadliest enemy's right here in our midst. And they will get no mercy. Stay back. It's too dangerous. Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. Some things can't be helped. Back to your quarters. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka Nine Kingoya. Shabani. It's down there? The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. How could you let it fall down there anyway? No way to recover the body. What kind of stunt was that? Trying to panic us?
snake? Pass. That's right. It's her. What about the bomb? We were able to remove the explosives. Both of them. Bomb! No, 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 it's okay. There's another in my... It's all right, we got it out. There's another in my... The guided tour will be wrapped up by the time you get home. Make me proud. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Out. Something's not right. Check her again. Boss? to survive. Anyway, the shock triggered some kind of amnesia. Snake, where is Professor Galvez? You mean? Yeah. She still thinks it's 1974. She's got no memory of anything before that either. Cypher, the KGB, nothing. It looks to be a kind of dissociative disorder. Dissociative amnesia memories are blocked out to protect the mind, and dissociative identity disorder, the whole personality changes. What we're seeing seems to be a combination of the two. She truly believes she's nothing more than a student living in 1974. Peace day was a lot of fun. I hope we can do it again. <sighs> she doesn't respond to anything that conflicts with her internal timeline. Doctor's pretty sure she's not faking it. If she had her memory, just think what she could tell us about Cypher. The photo is from that guy you brought back the other day. From the old crew. I thought it might jog her memory, but no luck. Anything else you can show her? Do you have something to show me, Snake? I give up. She's all yours.
touch one of the kids. A boy named Ralph. They tell me he died instantly. I'm sorry, boss. It's my fault. I should have been keeping an eye on them. I'll let you know if we learn something. Hey! Eyes on Kazuhira. A message from the parasites. something. Got a report from the intel team. Remember how the man on fire was crushed by Sahalanthropus? Well, the Soviets recovered his body. Could he really be dead? Boss, head for Yaha Obu's supply outpost and secure the man on fire's body. If Skullface was right, and a thirst for revenge can turn a man into a demon and keep the dead alive, and this man on fire who's been coming after us ever since you woke up? Well, that just might be what's left of our old friend, Volgan.
It's raining. I barely recognize you, Colonel. Skullface used your thirst for revenge against Big Boss, did he? Boss, Code Talker's research has been stolen. The research materials have been packed into two containers and hidden in the jungle southwest of the mansion. Enemy extraction choppers will be there any minute. You have to find and retrieve those containers before they arrive. That area is being guarded by Zero Risk Security, and their client is XOF. If the choppers make off with the containers, that research will end up in Cypher's hands. That cannot be allowed to happen. One other thing, boss. We need a cargo-capable Fulton extraction device to recover the containers. Use your iDroid to order its development and have it dropped in. Excuse me, Jesse. You've made it out of the hot zone. 
spot. We got Code Talker's research materials back in one piece. The medical team has them under lock and key in the quarantine facility. The materials should help their research into the vocal cord parasites. Cypher won't be getting their hands on them now. Code Talker examined everyone here. And one of us is infected. It's quiet. It was our cutting-edge MRI that finally revealed it. But we don't know what language strain it is. Get back to base. Time for her to talk. You know the room number. 101. Anything? Still living up to her name. How about you drop the act? Who infected you with a parasite? We can't let her talk. Put it back. All I want's a name. That won't trigger anything. Tell me. Tell me! Your lungs have been barbecued. There's traces of rubbing alcohol in your alveoli. This was found adhered to your lungs, intact. A petal, white star of Bethlehem. The hospital. Skullface sent you to Cyprus to kill Snake. You were burned inside and out. That should have been the end of it. But, all things considered, you look pretty damn healthy to me. We have Skullface to thank for that, right? I was the only one capable of applying them to parasite therapy. Until he stole them from me. Why are you here? Did Skullface send you? Or did you have your own score to settle with the boss? <laughs> Refreshing? Salt water. No! She'll die! His life isn't yours to take. Enough! That's enough. If she wanted to kill the boss, he'd already be dead. Same goes for us. She's had plenty of chances. She can talk. She's not here to kill anyone. I'm wasting your time. It doesn't matter why she's here. She works for you now. She's in love with the legend. What makes you so sure? I was the same way once. What if she's a spy? 
What if I'm a spy? Are you? Go on all day. Boss. Let her go. She won't speak, so she can't spread the infection. <laughs> Let's not get in tea. Oh. Idi ki plak anat e. Oh. Ako kode chis des ni. Tde bizad. Belagana Gesneta Tato be yas teta Ase tota Toto nista Toto nista Boss, some of the kids we've been keeping here have escaped. We don't know why they ran off, but it may have something to do with Ralph's death. The intel team's are looking for them as we speak. I'll add information to your side ops list as it comes in. You need to locate and secure those kids. I'll try to find out what happened. Again. You see that in the movies? That's an automatic. Don't bother trying to dampen the recoil. You do that with a revolver. We diamond dogs! Now a force to be reckoned with. We've got the world's attention. We're not some tribal militia. So don't act like one. You will learn how a real soldier fights. You will forget everything Hollywood taught you. And if I catch you doing something else, you'll know it. Engravings give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. That was some fancy shooting. Pretty good. Boss, as we suspected, the mastermind behind the kid's escape was Eli. It's hard to believe, but apparently he'd been plotting an armed uprising against us. He could be hiding something else, too. Ocelot's gonna press him for answers. Get back here as quick as you can. <coughs> Where is he? I told you. Your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy 
Commander. You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs, the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I don't need you anymore. Really, an accident? Or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys? Either way, he had to have been planning for this all along. Bidding farewell to the world. We're looking for the kids in Sahalampavis, but there's still no sign of them. We don't know if the chopper pilot is alive either. What have we gone and put in the hands of those kids? We don't know how bad this is until we find him. She's been acting differently lately. Before, she'd respond to conversation. Just as long as it didn't conflict with her timeline. But now, nothing gets a reaction from her. What happened? No idea. Well, Miller did go and tell her that Skullface is dead. If anyone should want revenge against him, it would be her. It's not exactly like an angel of peace to cheer for someone's death, now is it? There, take a look at this too. See it? Right there. The wound is open. Yeah. It was all closed up, and then it went back to this. But why? The medic has no idea how it happened. He figures it must have been self-inflicted.
about Eli hijacking Sun Anthropus. We know how he got it moving. It was Emmerich. He used the kids in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. Boss, we have an emergency. There's been another outbreak of the vocal cord parasites on the base. Several men are dead. It started in the laboratory on the quarantine platform where the radiation leak occurred. I'd only just deployed the security team. I've sent in a rescue team to help, but they haven't returned. Boss, I need you on this. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Here we go again. There's been another outbreak in the laboratory. The quarantine platform. We sent a team to investigate and recover the survivors, but they haven't returned. There's nothing on the radio either. We got a backup team ready to go. Just give the order and I'll, I'll go alone. Boss, what are you... There's no need for that. We can't afford to lose anyone else. We have no idea what's going on exactly. in there. Exactly. Anyone still alive's at their breaking point. Last thing we need is another unit storming in. No telling how they'd react. Fine. First off, check how much the infection has spread. Rescue comes next, after we know the situation. When you're ready to move, just use the iDroid. Boss, let's go over the situation again. We've got another parasite outbreak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform. What is this? No idea. Damn it! What the? Shit! all the exits to keep it from spreading. No one's getting out. One of the researchers inside managed to isolate the parasite behind the outbreak. He faxed over his findings. Code Talker's analyzing them now. Why this new outbreak? Despite our inoculation, this is still unclear. Introducing the Wolbachia to the infected prevented symptoms during the last epidemic. The parasites lodge in the victim's throat, forming a mating pair. But the Volbachia turns the male to female. Two females can neither copulate nor lay eggs. That's why the rescue team went in with more Volbachia. But the outbreak still isn't under control. They should not be capable of laying eggs. Yet, we have a new outbreak. And the Volbachia have no effect. I pray this is not some new strain. If it is, then someone may have brought it here. If there's a spy running around. For now, we must focus on discerning the outbreak mechanism. The cases show another alarming new development. It is now even more difficult to tell who is infected. The eggs Propagate out of sight. No external symptoms. One who appears healthy may be dying on the inside. What the hell happened in there? Boss, I still can't raise the rescue team I sent in. We know how to proceed if we just knew how to ID the symptoms. Finding that out is part of your job in there. Snake, 
We've just had a transmission from inside. Here's the audio. Where's it coming from? Unknown. It cut off before we could get a fix. It all makes sense. Think he means the parasite? No way to know. But right now, that's all we've got. Hopefully he can tell us something. We'll have to close the tent behind you, boss. Don't think the infection's airborne, but... Find the source of that transmission, boss. Find our man. You never know. What is it? Something sweet. I can smell it even through the mask. The rescue team reported that too. Said it smelled like ripe fruit. We cannot allow the infection to spread. If anyone shows symptoms, you must put them out of their misery. That includes me. Parasites killed him. Don't touch him. He's covered in blood. Stay back! Stay back! What the hell happened? Oh. At least you're okay. What's going on? I, I win. 
I'm no snail. Damn it. So he sent the transmission. Seems like he had a way of IDing who's symptomatic. But what was he trying to say? Snail. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Do not let anyone showing symptoms get outside. As infection progresses, it triggers an overwhelming urge to get out in the open. That's the parasite controlling them. Once outside, the birds will feed on infected bodies, spreading the parasite on land. Hey, let's let the boss decide. 
Hang on, boss. Is he wearing a mask? He might not be infected. Examine him with those goggles. Carry the rescue team member to the exit. He's the only one not infected. Thank you. Got a survivor. Unlock the door. Wait. I... I don't think I made it after all. What? You just checked him. Could it have progressed this quickly? Boss, take another look at him with the goggles. <laughs> Nothing we could have done for them. We're all grateful, boss. It's your fault! They're dead because of you! What? He's right. I killed him with my own hands. They were on your side! I'm on your side! And you turned them all to ashes! They wanted you to shoot. It was that or be burned alive. Come on. Let's get this over with. Wait. Scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea.
always be with you. Plant your roots in me. Bearing them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. Take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms, even in death. Ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Motherbase. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sahelanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. We lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family. Hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? Prosecution calls a witness. Strange Love's gravestone, haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. Could a machine? You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! 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 Kill him!
We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Food and water, too. Us. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He didn't lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Us. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. Boat. There'd have been no inspection if it weren't for your precious nuke! I risked my life trying to save you all! How can you do this? Am I the only sane one here? I... My... It's not my fault! Ah, 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 ah. Look, you can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black-hearted Diamond Dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever.
Side Ops list updated. Boss, maybe you realize by now, Mission but updated. there's no other way to say it. Quiet's gone. She pulled her camo stun and stowed away on a departing chopper. After pinpointing which she took, we figured out her destination. Afghanistan. Get after her. Only you can do this. Us. I told you this would happen. I wish I could say good riddance. But Quiet knows too much about us. We can't just leave her out there. Remember what you told me when she first got here. One of these days, we're gonna have to kill her. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. I'd say that time has come. to make sure the English strain died with her? Maybe. Or maybe she only wants to infect the world. Whatever her plan, we can't let her go free. The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both her and the parasites. We don't know for sure what Quiet's up to, but we need to secure her ASAP. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. Oh. Oh, my God. 
quiet. Fisher, Fisher, Nahat Ani, Tatsa. 
The boss is with me. Ahab? Wait, who is this? Identify yourself! There's no time! Hurry! Where are you? What is your location? No, you're moving away from us. Circle back to your 8 o'clock. Copy that. Guide me to your location. Proceed to your 10 o'clock. Understood. Come back towards your 1 o'clock. Copy. 1 o'clock. Shift slightly to your left. Now proceed straight. 1.5 miles. Slide right. A little more. Yes, there you go. One more mile. Strong winds approaching. Quick, adjust to your right. Left. A little left. Yes. Now hold your position and proceed straight. Half a mile to go. <sighs> Pequod, I can see you. I have a visual. There you are, Ahab. Visual confirmed. <sighs> Pequod, hurry. This way. You're... I didn't know you could be so talkative, Quiet. The boss is here. Hurry, Pequot. Please. Boss. Boss. I gave you an anti-venom. We've got to go. Let's go, boys.
I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue. Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me. Revenge. But the words we shared. No, that was no language at all. That is why I chose the language of gratitude instead and go back to silence. I am quiet. I am the absence of words. Dropping! Intubate. Now! Cardiac arrest is in BFIB! Clear! No response. Hit him again! How's he doing? Well, he stabilized, but it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? He uh, took some shrapnel to the head. V has come to. V has come to. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first.
This is you, as you have lived in this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Everything feels all right. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? 
talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ishmael. This way, boss. Hurry. Use that bike. It's tuned up and ready to go. I'll handle the rest. Here. That's your name as of today. Best change your face to now this one. He'll take your place. From here on, he's Snake. He believes it too. My very own Phantom, huh? <laughs> Boss, the whole world wants your head. Don't worry, he can handle it. Move now. Quickly. Aren't you forgetting something? We we'll made again. Right.
Now do you remember who you are, what you were meant to do? I cheated death thanks to you. And thanks to you, I've left my mark. You have too. You've written your own history. You're your own man. I'm Big Boss. And you are too. No. He's the two of us together. Where we are today, we built it. This story, this legend, it's ours. We can change the world and with it the future. I am you and you are me. Carry that with you wherever you go. Thank you, my friend. From here on out, you're a big boss. What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? A military nation above and apart from all. The true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army, all right. But more. Big Boss is building a nation. But until it's complete, we support the other Big Boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That is Big Boss's plan. So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, 
I thought everything had been taken from me. But now I really have lost it all. The boss... ...and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. Building the foundation for a revolution led by both Big Bosses. The True One... ...and the Phantom. No. Big Boss can go to hell. I'll make the Phantom and his son stronger to send him there. For that, I'll keep playing my role. <laughs> you know... Sooner or later, there'll be only one boss. There's only room for one boss. His sons are fated to face each other someday, too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cypher, I'll lay the other son. And then you and I will be enemies, too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. I'll be ready for the new age. Until then, we'd better get used to coexisting.